This is exactly You want the story, right? Yeah. So, um, first impressions of Dubai. Let's start there. Your first time in Dubai or you have First time, first time in Dubai. Uh, very nice. I mean, so different. Such a different place. Uh, I wish I had more time. You know, as you know, I, I lost my first. I was supposed to leave uh, Newark, New Jersey, Monday night. And uh, because of my PCR test was not what they required. Uh, I was like, did you postpone. get COVID again? <laughs> no. Did you test positive again? <laughs> and this time, no. And <laughs> yeah, I didn't get lucky. Remember, like, the East versus West, it was like, it was like 12 days before I got COVID. I'm like, yeah. oh, no. But I was only sick for one day. For one day, I feel bad that I have to stay in bed. It was, luckily, it was Saturday. I felt bad like on a Friday, then two weeks before the event. And then that Saturday, two weeks before, I was feeling really, really sick, so I stayed home. I didn't get a fever though. Um, just body aches and uh, like weakness, like I feel like I should lay down and rest. But I figured it was because the whole week I had a lot of work. I worked 10, 12 hours, hard work, and I couldn't sleep well because I was training. And then I had to take a pre-workout after work. It gives me energy to train, but then I couldn't sleep. So I sleep really bad. So it's like my probably my immune system went down and I need to rest. So that Saturday I rest, but I was sick. And when, uh, the follow day, I was like, I was going to my, my oldest son birthday. We had a little party and then I'm like, I'm a little bit sick. And he said, oh, why don't you do a COVID test? I have COVID test over here. I know we don't have anything, but just to make sure because there's older people there, I was like, okay. I went there, I did it, it was positive. <laughs> and it was like, it's, it was like 20 minutes, but in three, four minutes, it was positive. I'm like, what? They did another one, it was positive. I'm like, I can't believe this. Then I was like, okay, let me get out of here. <laughs> then I went to a, a place, like a, a, a hospital, then he was positive. So I'm like, and I messaged Ingen, like, Ingen, I know it's like 12 or 11 days, and I got positive with COVID. Yeah. Then he encouraged me to do in a day of the, of the trip it was the follow week to do uh antigen because over there it doesn't have to be pcr so i yes. did probably if i did the pcr it's still gonna be positive because pcr maybe take yeah. a few weeks you know and then it was negative and i'm like okay i can go <laughs> i didn't train uh i stopped like those two weeks before and i only did uh, like after a week that i was positive i just like a week later i just did a test to see my level of strength and it was the same, so I'm like, okay, so it didn't affect me that much, so I'll probably be good. The training was more mental than physical. Just yes. So you know where you are. Right? Yes. So I had to do a hard test. Part. Sometimes you feel good. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. I didn't know how I was going to perform though still, like, but I try to block everything away and just understand that I'm there for a reason. And I, with all the, you know, obstacles, it just make me feel like more like I want to win. <laughs> Were you happy about that match in your performance? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, left arm, I didn't know what to expect because I didn't know Sahib much. Mm -hmm. I heard he was a strong guy. I saw him pulling a few good guys and uh, I didn't know if he was winning or losing, but I saw a few videos only, not much information about it. But it was, I think I saw him pulling Ungarbayev, Darikarian, uh, Prudnik. All it, it looks like they were good matches, so I'm like, oh, okay, he's good. So. <laughs> That's my only information, and uh, I didn't know my left ear has been injured for a while, and it was just feeling better, like, weeks before, basically. I didn't train much, but it was, it turned out it was good. And the right hand with Tobias, I was supposed to be on Gabayev. Um I was preparing for on Gabayev style, and then it was, you know, when it changed, like, uh, I think it was only a week before the event, it changed Very for, close, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. five, maybe less. And then he changed for Tobias, and I'm like, okay, I don't know. I'm just, whatever, my preparation is ready, so I'm just gonna pay more attention in the way he is. He's a taller guy, longer leverage, and um, seems to be a top roller. But I found out he, he's more than that, he's versatile, he's technical, he, had, he made adjustments in our match, and I, I also did. And it was kind of surprising, because first match I got him in a hook and I put him put him down easy, and then I went too okay. confident than the other and one. He adjusted really. Yeah. yeah, he just changed it and then he got me. And then the third match was the one. Uh, yeah, the third round was the one that I felt a little hard, like on my shoulder, because 
he put me down, but I, he took my wrist, but I was able to get my wrist back and start putting pressure to force him to hook. But I thought he was gonna run away and I knew he couldn't take my hand again, but he started searching like side pressure like crazy. Yeah. And I even complained because I thought like maybe his elbow went up a little bit, but it was like, because he was so, he's so Very big nice. and he was moving. He was searching, boom, 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 until I finally, and I was, I felt my shoulder a little bit, my brachialis, because I was forcing from really down position. And that pain I kept for another two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he got me that match and then the other ones I figured like okay let me go to the straps because I should have done before like I I don't know why I didn't do it before I was like let me go to the straps and it seemed to be a little better easier to hook yeah easier to hook and then I I kind of tried to hold him a little bit he felt strong though even though because it, it, we, I put him in a hook but he was still was high on my hand a little bit I was just you know using my experience trying to make him get tired, you know, worn him out and then put him down. And the last match, I believe I was, the way he grabbed, I was confident in hooking him again. And I think he committed, he went straight, yeah. he, he went first. Yeah. Because I think he got caught and then he's might think if I go first, maybe I got a chance and then I was like, okay, it's just he's a matter of time. Very explosive, very fast transitioning. For yes, heavyweight. yes, super. super. Yeah. I think it's, uh, he's very young, like 25 years old, and uh, I think he told me that he's been training for 10 years. Yeah. He started very early, and uh, he's already best in Sweden, and nobody is close to him. And uh, he got a strong fingers. His fingers are really strong. Yeah. That's, that. Th that was one of my favorite matches there. You, you can always end up in wars. You know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not always, sometimes you were winning very fast, convincingly, uh -huh. but sometimes you end up in wars and you have to search, uh -huh. and, and I think you're, you, you feel like you're well-rounded, like you can top roll, mm -hmm. look like it doesn't matter for you where the match goes, mm -hmm. if, if there's a weakness. I, I, I look at you, you're pretty similar to Devon in some ways, in John mm -hmm. to some ways. Mm -hmm. You feel yourself like Yes, that? yes, yes. I, I, it's like pulling your rackley now, it just, I saw the way he pulled, I, I, I know exactly how he pulls, but I need to see, I need to feel that, you know what I mean? That first, since we got six rounds, regardless, I gotta feel that. I don't mind, like, I know some people are, like, they, they need to win that first round. I'm not necessarily have to win, I have to find out, you know, the lane. Yeah. And sometimes I take a loss, because not that I wanna lose the first match, right? I don't That's wanna lose anything, right. I don't want to. But sometimes it takes that, it just you just figure it out, you know? Yeah. And uh, you, you just gotta keep that pace, stay calm and aggressive. The same, it's hard. I mean, <laughs> you only get that with experience. When it's time to go, you go hard. But then you you have to think. You have to be rational to think. You cannot get your emotional so high. Then you just get, wanna go and die over there. The you just gotta you gotta think about it because yeah. it's a it's a it's a strength sport. But at the same time, you have to be really when you have experience, you have to use that in your favor. Yeah. Sometimes the adrenaline pumps so high, you, you just Forget it. <laughs> but I try to keep my pace and then look at how, how the match goes and uh, which lane that I'm missing and I'm trying to correct the next round. So for this match, you said uh, we, we kind of talked about it behind the scenes, but uh, you didn't have much time to prepare. You more had time to recover from the last mm -hmm. match. Uh, no, look, most likely you, 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 like, you, you, you're in great shape. Mm -hmm. So improving is not a factor here. It's more about being healthy, being ready, being fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, what what was your time off between East versus West and King? Of yes, it was only like a month in advance. Uh, I mean, in in between these two, you know, big competitions. So I got invited over. I was invited before, but uh, it didn't confirm until the I was over there, and I met the uh, you know Dom Core Sports, and uh, he just we want you there, and can get the table for like okay, let's do this. And how are you gonna say no, no? You know, it's just uh, an opportunity to shine again. So, uh, so one month is not enough after a hard match, especially because of my type of work. I work in construction. I'm an iron worker, and I do. I'm a foreman. I'm. I do a lot of installation, but sometimes you have to do a lot of physical work. And uh, after that competition, I had like a tough two weeks. So I didn't do nothing regards to exercise. And I felt pain in my arms because I had to have side jobs too, and I had to dig holes by hand that week. 
it was hard and then it, the pain never goes away because you never rest right yeah. if you rest like if i rest one full week seven days without doing nothing it gets much better than you do you know some little therapy like some light exercise just blood flow and everything and it gets better but i because of my job i didn't have the time so two weeks i didn't do nothing the third week i i done some exercises but mostly to maintain and then because there was some pain there some aches and i was just trying to keep myself fresher you know because it's a mental it's more mental than anything as long as you recover you don't feel pain you're, you're good to go so how do you feel now i'm feel good now, right now you feel good yeah. yeah up to the beginning of the week i was a little bit some little bit aches but as i'm not good that's why i wanted to come earlier so yeah. the most time i don't do nothing you just eat and rest the better it is for me if I don't feel nothing, like tomorrow, probably gonna be 100%. I'm expected, at least in my brain. <laughs> uh, many people pick you as favorites. Do you feel you are the favorite, or are you going thinking you're the underdog? I think, no, I don't think I'm underdog. I think it's, I would say, slightly favorite if there's anything like that, but uh, it could be 50 50. But um, I think it's because of my experience. And trust me, I, I would change my experience for, for the youth. <laughs> I prefer to have Iraqis, Iraqis age. You know, I think he's 26, right? Yeah, he's 26, young. 27. Yeah. He's very young, so i am got over 20 years on him. Yeah. You know, older, so if I'm, I, I would change everything to be young again and just learn my lessons and, you know, get better every time. He has time to grow. Um, you know, he's a excellent opponent, very dangerous. He trains with Levon and he had, he got a, a very sick style. He's very, very good at top rolling for position. He's very dangerous in that. And uh, But uh, I think once I stop that move, uh, he's going to be in trouble. That's that's my goal, to just you know block that thing and then go from there. 